Okay, you're gonna pick up with the settings. As far as settings go, we're going to want to go to the left hand side under settings. You should have already added your real debris count here underneath accounts. You'll know you've done it right. When you go right here, it will tell you your your count is okay and when your premium expires that you've paid for and your email address. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I want to make sure that these are all checked. I haven't touched anything, so just the way it is is fine. Hit the back button one time. Go back to the top. <clears throat> Gonna hit the back button again. So we're back underneath settings. Let's go underneath visuals. You can change the color if you want to instead of red. You can change it to blue or whatever you like. I think this one's called blue. It says net, but it's blue. Uh, we're going to go down to this one here that says thumb zoom. I'm going to bring mine down to 80. I like the icons on the front a little bit smaller. Whatever number works for you. I'm going to go down to refresh fre frequency and it is set at 5. Other than that, you leave everything as is. Hit the back button one time. Let's go down to content. I have Debrid Cache on. I'm going to turn on Debrid Cloud. I'm going to continue to scroll down. And everything stays as is. The back button, go back to Source Resolving. Got quite a bit to do in here. We're going to go to uh, Enable Auto Select. We're not going to get into that right now, but if you ever want it just to carry on from one show, one episode to another when you're watching shows, you can enable this, but I keep mine off. I'd rather choose the links. I'm going to go down to minimum source count. I'm going to change that to 10. I'm going to go down. I'm going to leave this, um, <clears throat> let's see here, max delay. We're going to change that from 360, a little bit down to 50. It's only going to go, it's only going to run for 50 seconds while it's searching for links. Everything else stays the same. Default auto selection is play. Default source clink, click action is going to be play. And number of threads it's going to stay at 10 yeah, I go down to these three here we're going to click on the bottom three right here We're going to hit the back button. We're going to go back to source filtering. We're going to choose skip resolving non debrid links. We're going to go to this one here that says filter out sources by quality. I'm going to, I don't want to see cam videos. I don't want to see 3D videos. It's up to you about the 4K, but. Uh, I'm going to keep mine on. I don't need to see the 4K videos. And I'm also going to tick unknown. Hit the back button. We're going to scroll down a little further. And underneath minimum file size, let's change that to. 20 and then you're done in there so we're gonna hit the back button go down to source validation 
I'm going to keep all these ticked. Everything looks good. I'm going to go down to playback. Auto next is on. Everything looks good. Video player right here. I want you to select XO. It'll say XO right there. Scroll back. This is up to you whether you want subtitles on or not. If you don't want them to be on, you turn this off. Right now it's on, so it's up to you. At least you know where they're located. And it will also auto-select the subtitle if you want it to from a list. That's up to you also. I keep mine on. And we're going to hit the back button. We're going to come down to Provider Packages. You're going to hit Select. And this is the point you need to contact me. And you're only going to need to um, have me do something for just a couple minutes. It's too hard to explain. So um, right now I want you to hit the back button. And that's it for now. Just contact me regarding the provider packages.